Now that's a sight, isn't it? Check that out. How are we going, folks? We're over here at Craig's place. We've been talking about it. You saw me on the online um, live Q and A's mentioning Craig. Well, this is the man himself. We've done a lot of work together in the past. He's been on our show, in our magazine. He's a contributor to the magazine, as is your wife now too. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. adds her bit to it too. Yeah. Much appreciated. And the yeah. autumn edition is out. But now today we're talking vegetables and fruit. And this is a multi-graft apple tree that I've come here many a time to visit, but never at the right time. Oh. And today is the right yeah, time, it. isn't it? <laughs> we talk about spalling your fruit trees and creating a different variety each time. Yeah. Mine was very young still. I did about three grafts and they've all taken beautifully. Yeah. And I can't wait. So how old do I have to be before well, I get this, this is now uh, about nine years old. Nine years old. So that'll so. turn, I'll be 47. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it started out life as a Granny Smith. Oh, really? And, and my wife loves Granny Smith. So the last, the, the right. first... The first uh, four branches yep. to either side, yep. I've kept as Granny Smith. Wonderful. But personally, I don't think much of it as an apple. Oh, yeah. Um, I can, well, well, if you let it over ripen or ripen to its fullest. It's yellow. It's yellow. Yeah, it's not exactly. green. Exactly. And that's yeah. what that annoys me because I leave my ones to yellow. Yeah. Mine actually gone yellow already. Yours are early, later than mine. Yeah, but bear in mind, in a backyard environment, we're a bit warmer. Yeah, microclimate's um, different. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So, yeah. you know, I, I used to have a good mate that. Uh, that in fact invited me into the orchard yeah. many years ago and um, he lived a kilometre from me on the other side of the river yeah. and his fruit trees sometimes could be you know, up to three or four weeks ahead of mine. Really? So and that's a kilometre um, difference, one yeah. kilometre difference. Yeah. But he was on an acre, yeah. whereas here where we're at close quarters yeah. and we've got warm yeah. uh, buildings that yeah. warm the environment up and so forth. So it keeps them going the longer. Yeah. 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 And what varieties have you got there growing now? Um, on this, yeah. uh, there's about 12 varieties on this from memory. So, um, Kingston Black, uh, uh, Carne, which is this wonderful... <laughs> Look at this. Um, All in the space of a two and a half, three metre stretch. This is half a wonderful a wide. Japanese uh, apple down here. That's Only one? Uh, carne. No, I've picked one and put oh, it on okay. the table, so <laughs> yeah. you can I'll actually to, taste it. All right, I'll taste those ones. You know, the Japanese have been very good at picking... Apples? Uh, well, <laughs> fruit. They're very fussy. As pick, picking the, harvesting the, the fruit. The particular type of fruit that they like. Okay. So Mutsu is a, yeah. is a wonderful uh, substitute for Golden Delicious. So if you like Golden Delicious, mm -hmm. it absolutely kills, uh, Mutsu absolutely kills it. It sounds like it'd be a purple uh, sort of. Akane is a beautiful, rich, red, crisp, white, full of juice, yep. full flavoured apple. Yep. Magnificent, quite an early variety. Not tart at all? No, no, no. no, no, no it's just no. real sweet. You'll see, you'll okay. taste. Uh, then there's uh, Fuji apple. Yes. The red fish, uh, which is your... Wonderful. Yeah, yeah it so, is a wonderful. What's that purple one there? That's Kingston Black. Kingston Black Apple. So it's meant to be sort of representing black. Dark, like it's dark yeah, that's, as, yeah, yeah. It's white flesh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Again, we've got a couple You've of those over there. there. There's a gala. Yeah. Uh, over the far side is opalescent. Mm -hmm. And then there's Blue Pear Main, and then there's Eagle Point Star. And none and of these exist anywhere in the retail market no, as far no, as no. shopping from your green grocer no. or a supermarket. And then, of course, there's uh, a couple of others up the top. Look at them, clusters of apples. That's <laughs> a bad expression to use, but bunches it of is. apples. How's it that? Is, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's it, yeah. And you would prune this how often? Um, throughout the course of the year. Yep. I, I'm careful over the summer, but we haven't had much of a summer, yeah, really. really, we haven't. Um, and and you, you, I'm wary of... If we're having quite a hot summer, yeah. of you know the, the risk of sun Some scorch. Burn. Yeah, so, so don't thin it out too much if it's slow. Sometimes it's still what I'll do is I'll bend and snap those branches down and, and bend them so they act as a veranda. And you're referring to the branches on the top there, which yeah. basically are going to be pruned off anyway. They're watersheds. Yeah, yeah. They're watersheds. So, they're going to be useless to you. Yeah, and so, that's where I'll use that undercutting method yeah, to yeah. produce root spurs. Yeah. You don't know what we're talking about? We'll show you yeah, later yeah. on. I'll, I'll get the pair of secateurs and we'll, a minute. we'll show you. Yeah. This is great. So we've got, how many, now for those who haven't seen your backyard here before, how many trees have you got? Um, well, I've, I've, got, uh, I've got six apples. Okay. So there are four at the front mm -hmm. and two in the back that are multi-grafted. I'm, I'm surprised how so, nobody at the front's harvested your tree yet. There you go. <laughs> and they're just about ready to pick. Because oh, I saw them when I pulled up. I was oh, I should stop there first. But there's more there on the corner of the driveway. There's a tree out there that's got 18 varieties on it. Really? Well, really? look, the, the problem was that we, we, we had a problem down at the orchard. This is uh, at the Werribee Park yeah. Heritage Orchard, yeah. yeah. Where, where we normally get the, the, uh, the sign on wood yeah. from uh, down in Gippsland, yeah. the trees, due to the drought, yeah. hadn't been putting on any timber. Okay. Which meant that we weren't going to get yeah, any grass. The grass. So we had to look elsewhere. 
and we made a trip to um, Apollo Bay, mm -hmm. and we we're on a, a property down there that's about 120 acres, mm -hmm. um, and they had a heritage uh, orchard there. That's mate, you want to see the, the slopes that we had to walk. The trees are growing on the side of the hill, basically oh, yeah, on the yeah, slopes. Yeah. And, and there was old? no. Oh, look, he, 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 his father planted yeah. these trees there. Okay, so we're talking a few decades. So, and he knew exactly which ones they were, and in fact, that's where I learned that um, labelling system, which I'll show you shortly. So these trees weren't labelled, but they knew the varieties. Oh no, no, he had labels on them. Oh, he he knew exactly what they were, where they were. Yeah, I should listen to my advice so, too. Yeah, All so yours. I'll show I'll, I'll show you the labelling <laughs> yeah. system. It's really good. I know. It a is. Anyway, so we went down there and we. Uh, Cut a long story short, brought back the sign we could get. Yep. And we ran out of rootstocks and room down the orchard. And I had about about 14 yeah. really rare apples yep. that I needed to somehow perpetuate. Yeah. So Here I looked at that tree. And looked at that tree. And, and I went, right, <laughs> that's where they go. <laughs> and they all and took. And they all took. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. So, How long ago is this? Um, that's only about three years ago. So not this tree, but the one yeah, out the front, the one that's and got 18 on it. And they're fruiting? Uh, some, sort of them are, some of them yeah, are. Some of them are. My wonderful work. So, you so I've got a couple. Of, I've got a big twenty-ounce apple yep. down there. That's huge. Um, <laughs> so there's there. one out there called um, Peas Good None Such. You, what does that mean? Peas Good None Such. I've no Peas idea. Peas Good None, none such. such. Yep. Is good. None such. No idea. Right? I have no idea. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I am, I, look, I'm writing there. a book on Aussie uh, <laughs> grafting and growing uh, fruit trees for the Aussie right. backyard at the moment. All right. So I'm, I am doing some research on some of the names in these yeah, yeah, things. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a look at those ones afterwards yeah. as well. But for people who want to do this at home, this is what the result will be for you. Yeah, if you've only got one little courtyard, our properties are getting smaller and smaller, as we all know. So yeah. the outdoor space is very little and minimal so you've got to be able to sort of capitalize as much as you can yeah. and this is an example of what you can do on a tree on yeah. one tr no yeah. you don't put you can't put cherries on here folks don't get no. this in your head because a lot of emails come through can i graft my apple with some nectarines and peaches no. ain't gonna happen so apples and pears on the one we'll just keep your apples on apples yeah. pears and pears cherries and cherries yeah. that's it and yeah, that's the maybe shot. some quince on it too, if you yeah, like. Yeah, look, you've got to be... I, I think, think that you really should try and keep them um, specific. Yeah. Keep them, you know, yeah. the same It's an apple tree with a, a variety they of apples. They all have their other problems, and yeah. they bring them onto a same yeah. tree. I mean, how much trouble do you need on one tree? And your, you know, so. and your tree, if you do have <clears throat> a couple of varieties, for argument's sake, on the one tree, no, your pears shouldn't turn into apples, and your apples wouldn't turn no. into pears. No. They all have their own and, genetics. And the beauty genetics. here is that I've picked early, mid and late varieties, so I've extended the You're picking. Harvesting. Yeah, so ultimately, um, you know, most apples, yeah. as you'll see out the front, yeah. uh, will give you two or 300 apples all at once. No. And there's only two of us here. I mean, whilst we've got extended family that and birds. I give away, well, I don't let yeah. the birds. <laughs> okay. And because we're in close, close quarters here, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty good. Control, control the ones out the front, they get a pick, uh, yeah. attacked by birds, so that's yeah. needed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, that's at the, the back thing. here. I'm, you don't I'm want to be good. harvesting 300 apples in no. one go. And it's all it's too much yeah. all at once, yeah. you know. So. Yeah. It makes sense to me to put early, mid, and late varieties yeah. on the on the one and tree. Still, you're getting at least a dozen, two dozen on oh, each branch. Easy, yeah. Twenty to twenty-five yeah. generally yeah, out, out of each are. branch. There you go. So you're still getting so, the quantity, but you're not yeah. harvesting. And I'm all not at getting once. varieties that are growing out and taking yeah. over the tree yeah. and what have you. Yeah. you know? So sort of chosen a, carefully. Yeah, and they all grow in the same uniform shape yeah. with a yeah. bit of pruning. Nice. And of course, the aspidering is very easy. Yeah. People look at it and think, oh, that's complex. Yeah, but it is. But it's not really. And you know, a stake about three meters apart. A timber top on the top of it, yeah. about fence height. To hold the stakes um, upright. You know, about knee height is where you put the first wire in. Waste. About 30 centimetres yep. for each up. one. Yeah, horizontal wire. Put the tree in the middle. And let it Keep train Keep a central course. leader, train out the laterals. Anything that grows to the fence, cut off. Anything to the Anything front. Anything that grows out to you, cut off. Yeah, yeah. It's and very that's simple. that's called the form, uh, formal And I'll show you shortly how to, to create fruit spurs on a tree with a simple pruning method you can use in summer or even during the course of the year. Beautiful. What are we looking at here? So, if I talk about this, this is the Wicked Witch's apple. That looks pretty wicked, actually. It looks like it's had russet right all over it. Well, that's, well it hasn't, because that's what it's called. It's called Egremont Russet. Really? So yeah. it takes the name from the, the russet mite, yeah. you know, the uh, discoloration that happens. Yeah. You want me to carve it up? This is ready? This is yeah. right? All right. Okay. Ooh, firm apple. Yeah, cut a piece off it and see what you think. Feels like you, it feels That's a like very adult apple, so it's rich. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. <laughs> I'm just thinking, so, will I get excited or no, something? No, no, you won't. No, no. 
Bugger. But, but it's, it's, it will be unlike most apples you've ever it's tasted. It's like a bow bus pear. Yeah, I, look, I used to think I should, I should prove that. No, no, no. Yeah, it's all good. I'm just sucking the juice out of it. Wow. Right, there's now nothing that, like an apple, man. That dates back to the early 1600s. Really? So someone like me has been grafting these all that time and passing it on and keeping it in circulation till now, here we are, 2021, and we're still growing that same apple. I can't describe it. Oh, it's just a magnificent apple. It is really You know, I, I grafted rich. some of these onto my son's apple up in uh, Gisborne, mm -hmm. and I've grafted him a multi-grafted uh, tree, and it was funny, he rang me and he said, Hey, Daddy, so I've got these apples uh, that are, that are ripe and I, fantastic. But I've got this, this one branch that's got these dodgy-looking apples on it. It was these. Is these ones there? He said, I think I'm going to have to throw them out. I said, no, 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 don't throw them out. <laughs> Do me a favour, go inside, cut one up, taste it. Well, he hardly put down the phone and the phone went back again. He goes, mate, that is the most magnificent yeah. apple. It is, oh, there it you is. Go. I told you. They've got a firm sort of flesh in them and yeah. very juicy. Yeah. And the texture of the skin on the outside, it yeah. just throws you. So, uh, Carno's the next one, mate. Okay, this, this is the this is Asian the Japanese. Japanese one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it cuts easier. White flesh. Oh yeah. Yeah, lighter apple. Yeah. Lighter apple. And this is what the Japanese love, huh? Yeah. That's like a lolly. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a lolly. You ain't tasted nothing yet. <laughs> So I've sort of selected these over all the ones that I get to taste. So it smells like my wife's perfume. You know, those bubblegum. Yeah, it's floral and it's... Floral bubblegum yeah. flavour. Oh, these are amazing. Yeah. It's in the book? No. <laughs> I'm writing the book that these are in. <laughs> but that's a good book anyway. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Oh, wow. Folks. You've got to start growing your apple trees, honestly. If yeah. there's anything, apple trees, start grafting. You know where we are. He's here, I'm here. We can get your grafts. I don't know, how we, can we get the grafts out there? Yeah, we can. We're, we're uh -huh. just about to mm -hmm. um, put on, uh, uh, liven up the website for Werribee Park Heritage Orchard. Nice. And, and, uh, and we'll start setting we'll up those events we again. Yep. Yeah, yep. once so. we're able to start yep. setting up the events and grafting techniques. But before we go there, let's not forget the Edible Gardens book here, which has got everything in it from A to Z, growing a nice, a productive flowering garden yep. and we've got our, our plant profiles here so there's over a hundred varieties that tells you anything and everything you need to know mm. on how to grow your favorite vegetable uh, and companion planting as well they're yep. both available on our websites yep. now folks if you want to see me tasting any more of these apples you're just going to have to wait for the next episode from Sally, that is he delicious <laughs>